Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to create a district wise map from scratch using Tableau and we'll just use Tableau, Internet and Excel to do that. It's pretty easy, uh, you don't need any latitude, longitude. Uh, obviously this is for a very plain simple map. Uh, in case for more complex spatial analysis, uh, you might need latitude and longitudes. Uh, and maybe some other shape files as well but for a very basic uh, map creation uh, we are going to use Tableau and Tableau has a lot of inbuilt capabilities to get uh, this done so let's begin uh, let's first uh, take an example so I'm going to take an example uh, take a, a real case scenario of plotting district wise map of India and I will use the population figures so uh, let's say I don't have any data uh, so I just do a quick Google and I type uh, districts uh, in India so so if I do that uh, I, I get all these options so I just go to the most used one which is Wikipedia so I go here and then I see that over here we have all the states named and then if I scroll a little bit down I see there are state wise districts listed here so I need all these districts to be first put into a, an excel file and then I'll use that excel file in the tableau so now as a very uh, basic or a simple way to gather this information uh, what I'll do is I'll just copy it I'll just do a simple copy I'll just select it like this there are ways to do the scrapping also uh, using some automated ways but we are just using plain vanilla copy paste so let me just go to the very bottom of this and over up till here I have all the data now I go to my Excel and I just paste it here so if I <coughs> use a source formatting uh, then it might not be in the right shape so I'll rather use a match destination formatting so once I do that I get all the data here so now the data is here and you can do a comparison with the website data also so it looks okay the thing is uh, it's still not in a proper tabular or a format which Tableau can read so first we'll need something like a table which should have the state name then the district name and then we are using the population figures so this these three columns should at least be there so we know that there is a state name here but it's not in each of the state table so we need to add a column for state and use this information to populate the state names against each table so how are we going to do that? Uh, so I mean different people might have different approach. So what I off the like just off the cuff what I think is I see that this uh, all the state names have this this wording C also colon and a space. So I'll use this as my filter. So I go to text filter and then I go to contains and if I do it like this so I get all my state names listed over here right so I'll just add a flag column here and I just put something like this so that I know that where my uh, states are right so I'll just do it like this and then I will paste it like this so all in the J column anywhere where I have X which it means it's my state name right okay now so I'll write flag states okay so now I need to get rid of the unnecessary information so I need only the state name so what I'll do is I'll just get rid of these characters so the simple way is to copy the unwanted text then select the columns control H and then I find what so I find this unwanted text and then replace with nothing so when I do a replace all 
we filter uh, these columns I'll show you how we just filter these so these flags are where the state names are so anything other than that which is blank is where we might need to delete that information so this is these are the rows which don't have these flags and then in this column if I just filter out blanks so this would mean uh, these are the rows which don't have any district name so we can easily get rid of these and on a on a visual check also we see that we don't need these so I just do a right click and then delete the row okay so now let's see how our data is looking so okay uh, pretty much there uh, only thing is this state name is offset a bit so we need the state names here and we need to get rid of this column uh, specifically these codes and I, then I think we'll be almost there so uh, one more thing um, that I think would be an easier approach would be let's first get the state names here and let's just simply uh, copy them here so I'm just copying it here so I have my states here now and then mm, I see that my state names are here and now if I because since I've uh, linked them I first need to paste them as values and then get rid of this column so now I have the state names the district names like this format that I told before the population should be here currently there is nothing in this column so I'm just getting rid of this column also and then I think we have our data almost there now what is left is this is offset by one so what I can do is I can just simply insert a cell and push it down so now it is almost aligned maybe one more and insert and cell down so now I think the data has almost shaped up uh, so I'll just do a further formatting okay and that's I think more or less what we wanted okay so uh, there's no thumb rule as such to do such cleaning uh, like uh, if I have to get rid of these like I just mentioned but uh, I mean it comes intuitively or uh, maybe because you work on data so like in this case I see uh, this word district is repeated every time such th this entry is coming so the district is the keyword so what I'll do is um, I'll just filter on the keyword district so anywhere the text filter contains district this word my assumption is this is where our bad data lies so I'll just get rid of these also and I think once I do this uh, we should be able to get yeah so this has worked now the only thing left is or are these blank rows which we'll check later um, now let's try to fill these uh, state names here so to do that there's a very easy and efficient trick so the trick is you first select uh, all these cells where you want to fill in right so just fill select all these uh, rows so what I'll do is I'll just quickly keep on pressing shift I'll keep the shift key pressed and uh, press page down and that's how I'll do it and then uh, all my all the cells are selected where I have to fill in the values right now I go to home tab and under there I go to find and select and then I go to special and then I click on blank so now depending on the file size uh, it will take some time and you will have all these blank cells selected as you can see and now if you click on this uh, formula bar 
you can just enter a value and just make a note that if I put a equal to sign here it's highlighting in this cell so which means this is my active cell and over here I want to say that make this value in a3 equal to a2 so I'll just type a2 and then this value becomes equal to this one but I want to repeat this process for all the blank cells which means if I'm in this cell uh, I want to bring down this value here so if I for that what I have to do is I have to repeat this formula in all the selected cells so to do that I press control and enter and now see all the values from the from the cells above have been copied down so which means our state names have been populated uh, in the blank cells also now I just paste it as values and then the last step is I need to get rid of these blank rows also so I'll just wherever the population is blank and the district is also blank is my row that needs to be deleted as well so I press this and I also press this so now I think these are the rows which are not required so I'll just delete them and now this data is more or less what we need obviously there would be a lot of uh, uh, other rows wherein some some uh, cleaning is required but on the face of it this is what we need so okay so let me just do a let's write formatting and then uh, save it don't forget to save your files uh, while you work so okay so this is the first part of this video wherein we have select, uh, created the data we have the state we have the district and we have the population so the, with these three columns uh, we're going to create our map in tableau so see you on the other side